What's up guys, Football Peter here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. Um, as you can see, I have these visibly dirty soccer shoes, and actually the Nike Hyperventum Phantoms in front of me, and I'm going to show you how to clean these. Um, I'm going to just guide you through step by step, showing you what you will need, how you actually clean them, and then showing you some before and after shots. Before I actually start cleaning the shoes, let me show you what you will need. Um, first off, the obvious, you will need your dirty shoes, of course. Then you will need some sort of soap. Um, I like to use this hand soap, but you can also use other sorts of soap. For example, dish soap or the soap that, uh, soap that you use in the washing machine. So that works as well. Then I use one rag to um, kind of wipe off the dirt of the shoes and then one to dry it. Then you will need one of these brushes. Um, it can be any kind of brush. Just a brush will be important to really dig into the shoes and get out um, the, the turf marks. And then I like to use an old shirt, so if any dirt um, goes onto your shirt, you don't really want to um, use a new shirt. And also, last but not least, is a toothbrush. <laughs> Please not use a toothbrush that you actually use every morning or on a daily basis. Um, the toothbrush I have here I just got from my dentist, I think, a few years ago. So this should be fine. That's just also to get out those, those really tough and uh, tough stains in the shoe. Um, I like to use that for that. So now that you've gathered all that you need, um, place those items in, in short range so that when you need them, you can really just get to them really easily. So I've placed all my items around the sink. First step would be to just take your shoes and take uh, use some hot water. Not too hot, but not too cold either. Uh, the purpose of the hot water is that it will soften up the dirt and make, make it muddy and therefore, therefore it will just fall off. Um, for the first step, I'll be using my cleaning rag, not the one to dry, but the cleaning rag, and just run some hot water over it like that, and use um, the, the rag to just try to get off as much as possible. Next step for me, or what I usually do, is take out the laces. Um, this is nothing that's really necessary. Sometimes Some people don't care about how dirty their laces are, but I believe that in order to make your shoes look new again, the least laces need to be clean as well. Uh, for first, uh, just for the beginning, take the laces out, and I'll show you how to clean these later at the end of the video. So now that the first two steps are done, we're going to use our bigger brush, so the one that's uh, just a little bit broader. We're going to put some soap on there. As you can see, I applied some soap, and you're going to. This is important now. Let the water run. Very, just a little bit, not too much, so it's not, you know, uh, squirting uh, water at the boots. Just a little bit running water. And the point, the purpose of this is just to clean the upper of the boots. I like to just put my fingers in and really uh, apply. And just back and forth, really dig in until it's gone. As you can see, the white is already getting a lot whiter up here. It was more looking like this and that. So now I've finished cleaning the upper with the big brush um, they've already been visibly cleaner and now the next step the obvious step would be to clean the sole plate this is where your handy dandy toothbrush comes into play um, even though most of the dirt has already been separated obviously has already gone away just because of the hot water um, there's still some minor dirt there as you can see my camera isn't focusing for some reason but I'm still, you can sure, uh, still make it out. There's just some um, dirt just left there. And of course we want those to, that, that dirt to be gone as well if you want your shoes to look fresh and new again. This same thing goes as for the, with the big brush. I recommend just putting some soap on the sole plate itself. Like that, uh, like so. And just really scrubbing there where there, yeah, where there's still some dirt. Just finished, um, Scrubbing the sole plate. Now we'll just wash it off with the hot water again. Very easy, very quick as well. So after cleaning both the upper and the sole plate, the shoes already look a lot cleaner, but they are soaking wet, and this will take a lot, um, a lot longer if you just let them dry rather than cleaning them with a rack. This is where the the big rack comes comes in very handy and useful. Uh, I just wipe off the top 
wipe off the soul plate as well. Just because it and once you put them in a dryer or put in newspaper, they'll clean and uh, they'll dry a lot quicker. So you can even do this before practice and let them dry for an hour. But if you were not to uh, dry these off with a rag, it would take maybe double the amount of time just because there's that much more water in there. So I can already feel that these are a lot drier now. Um, also make sure to get the inside as well, uh, to dry off the inside as well, because that's usually the, the part that's not exposed to sunlight. So that's important that that's dry as well. You can already tell that these are um, very dry um, after just just wiping them with a with a uh, with a rag. Just finished um, scrubbing the sole plate. Now we'll just wash it off with the hot water again. Very easy, very quick as well. So, okay, so I finished cleaning the boots and I went up to my garage and this is the method I use to dry my boots. So as you can see, you can uh, have the Magista Opus there already. Um, it was rainy yesterday, so I had to obviously dry them. So now that they're still wet, I use this boot dryer. It's very, very easy, very practical to use. You just have to put the boots on there and then they'll automatically dry. If you don't have anything like this at home, you might as well just use newspaper. Or newspaper. Um, this will soak up the water and um, switch out the newspaper maybe every hour or so until they're completely dry. Um, I do not recommend exposing your shoes to the direct sunlight as it can get very hot and if they're still wet sometimes, um, it might separate the sole plate or cause other malfunctions for the shoe. But if you are looking to invest in something that will really dry your boots very quickly and if you really have a big interest in clean shoes, so if you don't want to wear dirty shoes, I recommend investing in these boot dryers. You can not just, it's not just for soccer shoes but also other shoes. Um, so that's very practical. And we're just going to turn that up um, like so and we're going to wait. So now that the boots are drying, however you have, may have chosen for them to dry, we are going to look on, at how to clean the laces. Um, even though the laces aren't really that dirty, um, they're just a darker shade of orange by now, um, some people might be interested in cleaning their laces and for them I of course also have a method. It's very simple, like uh, with the shoes, let some hot water run and put some soap and just maybe and um, run your fingers back and forth like that. Um, that usually works, does the trick for me. But if that does not work, you may as well just try soaking them in hot water with soap. That also has worked for me in the past. But if that does not work at all, then you can probably put them in the washing machine uh, wrapped in some in a towel or something. I've seen people do that and that usually works as well. But that is the most complicated version so I'm just going to show you what I usually do and what usually helps me. So like I just mentioned, put some soap in your hand with the laces and just rub it in like that. Um, I've just finished cleaning them as you can see. Some dirt will obviously not go away like this. Um, just too deep into the lace that will not be able to be removed. Um, maybe if you put them in the washing machine it might work, but for the purposes of this video, I've showed you the simplest way and the quickest way to do it. And if you want to dry them, just lay them out in the sun or in some area where there's enough light or heat. Um, you don't need to put them on a boot dryer or anything, and they'll just dry by themselves. After the drying process has finished, you can tell that their boots look almost brand new. Especially on the tongue and the white swoosh, the dirt really just went away and the swoosh now looks like a clear white again, just like out of box. Even though they look very clean again, not all marks were, uh, were able to be removed. You can see that the turf marks, especially on the sole plate, just stay there. Those are really tough to, uh, to remove. I haven't figured out a way to do that yet. Also, I'd also only recommend this process, this cleaning process on synthetic shoes as they'll ruin your leather shoes. 
And last but not least, you can see the laces on screen right now. Those look pretty new. There's some stains here and there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helped you clean your soccer shoes. Please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Also, go like this video if you enjoyed. Comment what you think or comment what you usually do to clean your boots. Also, make sure to go check out my Instagram. Um, I'll be posting a lot of pictures there, or I already am as well. Add me on Snapchat at footballpedia.yt. And go check out uh, my new website, footballpedia.net, if you want to see some updates on the latest cleats and also read some reviews. Peace.